again, hello and good evening or good day to everyone watching. Uh, this is an exclusive uh, interview with uh, His Excellency uh, President Christopher Loyak of the Republic of the Marshall Islands. Uh, we are very fortunate, OTV is very fortunate to be able to talk uh, with you, Mr. President, today. Uh, he is currently here attending the 13th Micronesian uh, President Summit, and that concluded today, uh, Friday, uh, July uh, 12th. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President, for giving us the opportunity to speak with you a little bit. I know this is your first time here on TV, so you're a little bit nervous, but uh, I'll give you the opportunity to give a little special remark uh, for those Marshallese who are, are watching us today. Thank you very much, uh, Rosalinda. Um, thank you for inviting me for this interview on OTV. And uh, as you said, uh, we've just uh, concluded our meeting, uh, which I think was very uh, productive and uh, went well, and this evening we'll be signing the communique to, uh, to wrap up everything. And uh, I will be leaving uh, early this morning, so I like to say that I will miss you, uh, the good people of Palau and this beautiful uh, country, but uh, I think I'll be back, and uh, I hope to see you soon. But let me just say something to my uh, people in the Marshall Islands. <coughs> I have an outlet, uh, Army, you wrote a rock of Prudor Rari Long Magal, uh, Iran, Kaloke, Ega, Rilo, Quilago, and President, you know, Palau, uh, Quilago, in Kajamon Chilu, Iran, FSM, Magal, Palau, and Jordan, a giant, a PBI, or me, a Kalo, all of a middle with Jen Quilagi, and during trade, our plan left Emily to the land, but I will come more than I can pay other work. I mean, I know Chibala and Magal, I kept talking to you, and I am a little Palau, the Chimarun training, Chibala Gunilu, and I roll over Magal. And Kumaya Murganami, Rojare, a grand page, I love not a terrible pen, and you rule in Baruian, terrible chick. Ali Tago me me na ibu jilo yano mga taga kamulo din kencho niya ni walang kare ilo TV at kwayan kare nga nga ni walang kaman perilo kuno no gay na at imana na we ko TV lo palaw ka train 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 TV naman mana na kritu ko yung Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, we'll begin the interview. I just wanted to I, I understand climate change was one of those issues that you spoke or discussed about during this uh, Micronesian President Summit, and it's also one of those major issues for your nation. Can you tell us um, how climate change is affecting your country, and how does the government plan to sort of deal with it in the future? I think climate change has become the most uh, uh, issue that we're concerned now because uh, it hinders uh, our uh, plan for development. It affects our social and cultural uh, lives and our way of life. It uh, affects the relationship between us, our land, and our resources. Uh, I'll just uh, make an example uh, of Marshall Islands. Uh, in recent uh, weeks, uh, uh, we have declared a uh, uh, state of disaster for the northern part of Marshall Islands, which are being affected by a climate induced uh, drought, which went on for months and months uh, and uh, have, uh, uh, caused uh, 600 people to, 6,000 6, people to suffer uh, shortage of uh, foods and uh, water. Uh, so uh, we've been uh, shipping them uh, food and water to uh, to make sure that uh, they're taken care of at this time. Uh, May 7 was the time day that we declared the state of emergency. But on June 25th, uh, the southern part of the Marshall, including Marshall, was inundated with the uh, uh, king tides uh, and uh, floods. So 
you can see that uh, you know this climate change is a is a very serious uh, thing uh, for small countries, especially low-lying atolls like Marshall Islands. Our own survival is in in question. People are asking, where will we go uh, if our islands are inundated? Uh, we'll probably become refugees somewhere. Uh, I think that nobody wants to think about. But it could inevitably happen, so we're very concerned. And at this forum, we're going to uh, highlight this one. Uh, we're inviting uh, experts to come and talk on it. And uh, we're also inviting all the Pacific Island uh, uh, forum countries uh, to participate and contribute to these uh, discussions. And uh, we hope to have a declaration that will uh, highlight this uh, problem and uh, we hope also to uh, persuade some of the bigger nations uh, like the United States and China, the big emitters, uh, which contribute 60 percent of the uh, the problem uh, to endorse uh, this declaration. And we hope that uh, this meeting in Majoro, the Pacific Island Forum, will be a good place to. Uh, uh, highlight this, uh, given the fact that uh, we are at the very moment being suffered from climate change effects. Thank you. Now, Mr. President, I'm glad you mentioned uh, the, the drought disaster and also mentioned uh, the king tide that you flooded, virtually flooded the capital of Majuro. Um, how does that affect economic development in your nation? Is it a continuing impact on on uh, the economy being developed in the Marshall Islands? As I said, you know, this will affect everything, including the economies of uh, countries, especially small countries like Marshall Island, uh, because uh, <coughs> uh, to begin with, we don't have that uh, much resources uh, for economic development. But our corals and our uh, fish are being affected by climate change. So these are, uh, as you know, our environment, you know, erosion of the uh, our shores and uh, uh, salination of our waters and all these things bear down on economic So, In terms of cultural preservation, and looking at climate change and urbanization and westernization, how is the Marshall Islands dealing with preserving its culture and heritage? Well, as I mentioned earlier, uh, if we come refugees, you know, the very question of our own cultural survival uh, is an issue. So we're very concerned, and uh, uh, there are a lot of things that tie up uh, all this economic development, social. Uh, Everything. Is there a plan that's in place now to uh, to deal with these types of issues in the, into the future? Well, uh, we're trying to uh, work with uh, international organizations and the United Nations and uh, our developing partners uh, to uh, come up with some uh, ways to uh, uh, minimize and slow or to things to uh, uh, try to prevent the uh, uh, these things from uh, taking a quick effect on on the people and the land and, and the sea. Now you mentioned the drought a little bit already, and you, you talked about it a little bit. Um, I understand that there was some type of uh, there was a forecast that there may be a little bit rain this month. Uh, um, and next month to uh, help relieve those affected in the northern Marshall Islands. Um, currently, is it the situation, is it still very dire and still very severe at this point? Uh, yeah, are rain are beginning to come back a bit, uh, but uh, they, they don't last long, uh, for one. <coughs> and uh, this uh, will be uh, a norm now, uh, we're told by weather people that uh, we should expect this kind of drought to to happen uh, more often. So uh, it also affects the economy and 
and the people. So, so. Now, you already talked about the Pacific Islands Forum, uh, which your nation will be hosting for the second time. Um, how will this meeting, you, you mentioned it a little bit, but can you go in a little bit detail about how this meeting can benefit not only the Marshall Islands, but the Micronesian region as a whole? Well, as I mentioned earlier, uh, <clears throat> there would be uh, issues to talk about among the leaders uh, who uh, uh, affect the whole of the Pacific uh, uh, Island uh, Forum uh, countries. And a lot of these uh, issues are common to everybody. But uh, with the, the issue that is uh, foremost, uh, we think that uh, will uh, come out of this uh, meeting is the issue of uh, climate change. So uh, we'll, we'll uh, work on uh, other issues, but uh, our aim is to uh, make it uh, an international uh, showcase of uh, how climate change really affects Pacific Island uh, countries. Will there be some type of uh, display or showcase to, to show these delegations from the different Pacific Island forum members of what climate change looks like in the Marshall Islands? Well, uh, you know, there's a committee that uh, plans uh, uh, the uh, events that will surround these uh, uh, meetings of climate change. Uh, it will be a uh, marginal meeting uh, to the forum, so uh, we, we think that it will happen before we actually go into the forum meeting and uh, <coughs> uh, whatever uh, come out of it will come to the forum and so well, thank you very much uh, mr. president for giving us the opportunity is there anything else you would like to to add or to say to to the Micronesian people who are watching you right now uh, thank you very much. I like to uh, say hello to all of our uh, fellow uh, uh, Micronesians, and uh, uh, I like to say that uh, you know uh, let's continue this uh, close relationship among ourselves. Uh, though we've uh, chosen different path in our uh, political uh, 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 but uh, you know we remain uh, brothers and sisters uh, uh, in Micronesia. So. Let's continue that. Uh, it's, a, it's a good thing. I think we find find strength in being working together and uh, and being being one one people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We do hope to, to see you once again in the, the Marshall Islands for the upcoming Pacific Islands Forum. Thank you once again for this opportunity to talk with you. Thank you. Are you coming there yourself? Welcome. We're hoping. We're hoping we'll be there. So we we'll hope to be able to see you and the RMI officials and our brothers and sisters in the uh, Marshall Islands. You will be most welcome. And uh, I hope that the second time around I will give you a better interview than this time. Yeah. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for uh, tuning in to this uh, very special, exclusive interview with uh, uh, His Excellency President Christopher Layak of the Marshall Islands. Yeah.